Breaking news this hour on RT International. It's been confirmed that Russian photographer Andrei Stenin is dead. He'd been missing in eastern Ukraine for almost a month. Let's cross to RT correspondent Irina Galushka for more on this tragic development. Irina, uh, what more can you tell us? Well, it does seem that indeed the remains that were found in a burnt-out car in Donetsk region two weeks ago do indeed belong to Andrei Stenin, who has been missing there on assignment since beginning of August. Uh, we can now bring you this official statement on his death from the head of the Russia Sivodnia news agency for which Andrei worked. We followed Andrei's fate and demanded that international organizations freed him. We are thankful to everyone in Russia and abroad for your activities and for your support. Unfortunately, when we were trying to do everything possible and even impossible for his freedom, Andrei was already no longer with us. Now, throughout this month-long ordeal for everyone here at Russia Sivodny and for journalists and many other news organizations in Russia and world over, uh, Ukrainian side presented conflicting information regarding Andrei's whereabouts and his fate. At one point, various intermediaries contacted the news agency, suggesting they exchange Andrei for Ukrainian soldiers in Russia. Now, of course, those offers were denied. At one point, uh, Ukrainian officials have been, have been making statements that they know about Andrei, yet only only to refute those statements days afterwards. So really, everybody here at Rasi Sivodny has been on edge. Everybody has been praying, along with his mother, who is the only surviving member of Andrei's family, uh, for his safe return home. But unfortunately, it does seem that the man who has covered numerous uh, war conflicts in not just in Ukraine, but in Libya, in Syria, and many, many others, is indeed dead. Irina, thank you very much for the update. Irina Galushka reporting.